All right, what's happening, Hoss? Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday, God of War Ragnarok has just released its first reviews. The review was lift yesterday, and holy freaking crap! Come to find out, it is definitely worth the hype. I beg your pardon. Yes, absolutely. So yes, Hot Squad, this is now time for another Hawker news coverage. That God of War Ragnarok review embargo has just dropped yesterday. And reviews are out, and they're absolutely stellar. I am not surprised about this, because the last God of War game was an absolute masterpiece. So, it's really nice to see it turned out to be really, really damn good. So, I want to check out the review roundup of God of War Ragnarok. So, we're going to dive deep into this coverage. So, I am definitely excited for this game. Comes out Wednesday next week, and I am going to do a boxing of it for sure. And it's just like, damn, man. Yes, yes. I'm kind of surprised they actually dropped it a week earlier before the game comes out. But, hey, Lisa came out swinging, swinging with the punch. A freaking falcon punch. So, yes, I'm so glad, so glad it's not be really freaking good. So, yes, Hot Squad, what for ado, do is now time to dive deep into this Hulk Little News of the God of Rock and Rock Review Roundup. So, Hot Squad, let's check it out. Boy, boy, boy. This way, boy. So, yes, Hot Squad, I'm here at the GameSpot website. I'm going to check out the review roundup. Um, it's kind of seen it, it has too much writing to it, but yes, I'm going to read to it to see what is the reviews for God of Rat and Rock. I'm very excited to see it. So, yes, let's do it. So, God of Rat and Rock is easy one of the biggest games of this year, of course. And ahead of its arrival on store shows next week, reviews have gone live for the PS exclusive, PS exclusive. Unsurprisingly, God of War Rock, Rock has been held as a blockbuster hit to end the year with an action pack experience that definitely weaves satisfying combat with plenty of charm and heart. Sony Mattel Studio brings back what made the original God of War reboot great and delivers another fantastic story with exceptional writing. Tamor Hussan wrote in the GameSpot's God of War Rock, Rock review, which I haven't seen the video of it yet. In a game in where Hulk and God rips all manner of creatures limb from limb, the most shocking moments aren't bathed in blood. But carried by pointing at words and heartfelt emotions. Also, by the way, I did hear about spoilers and leaks were already on the loose, so be careful. Be careful, y'all. He ain't lying. Use your common sense. So, okay, da, da, da. da. Oh, okay, here we go. So, GameSpot gave it a, a 90 out of 10, a 9.10, a 9 out of 10. And then um, also, let's get the sentence here. For more, you can check a roundup of Game Sis, GameSpot's sister site, Metacritic. What God of War Ragnarok is currently seeing, uh, currently has a 94. Wow, a 94 percent. That's damn good. It's amazing. Based on 73 reviews. Wow. Okay, so um, game spot. Okay, God of War Ragnarok is a live production with pristine visuals, jaw dropping scale, crunchy combat, as that is satisfying as brutal. In a world that begs to have its every corner in crevice, yeah, crevice explored, it is a spectacular blockbuster. But at least some, of this, but these are these of its achievements. I just need to get a 10 out of 10. Damn! What? Not surprising. <laughs> they gave the last one 10 out of 10. So, wow, dude. Okay, um. <clears throat> and a thoroughly spectacular to behold, and even a more exciting one to take on the reins of. Gava Rat and Rock melts action and adventure together to create an unforgettable Norse saga. Impeccable writing, pitch perfect performances, knock on action, is a complete work of art from top to bottom, Simon Cardi. Nice. Very nice. Games Bear, I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. I found that God of War Ragnarok, an oddly split between, yeah, an oddly split experience overall. There is a light start that feels padded, still good, but missing death. Hmm, interesting. Which leads to a weighty finish that is a bit, every bit the equal of its predecessor. But feeling like a, yeah, despite feeling like a 15 hour story, trying to fill a 30 hour story, God of War Ragnarok. It's still easy one of the best PS5 games of the year, Leon Hurtley. Nice, very nice. MMORPG gave it a 10 out of 10, perfect score. Wow. Oh my god! Wow! God of War Rat and Rocky simply put the complete package. I'm trying to push my glasses up, sorry. It sells one of the best stories in video games once, yeah, one day you will have you run the gamut of emotions while playing through it. Find the enemies in a realm that feels like a yeah, feels a lot, a lot like the previous game, but there's enough new re refined elements to help it stand on its own, Jason Finelli. VG247 gave another perfect score of 5 5. 
Although it starts out remarkably similar to the 2018 God of War, both mechanically and graphically, God of War Ragnarok gradually builds to, into a meaningful level evolution for the series, expanding the scope of gameplay both steftly and overly, while delivering a tense and twisty story that bends legend, legend around his characters and exciting interest, yeah, exciting and endless interest wage James Bill Cliff. Game of Thrones gave it a 95 out of 10, 9.5. God of War Ragnarok feels like a feel, yeah feels a lot like God of War, which is a compliment concerning how fantastic that game is. Sony Santa Montana was right to not break but was broken and has expertly continued its story thread that were left hanging from the previous game. Any complaints about the overall experience for me? The combat, collecting, and level up. Um, equipment is particularly interesting. Uh, quickly forgotten in the face of the compelling narrative, believable character relationships, and incredible visuals animation. Kyle Hillard. And by the looks of the last one, okay. The game of 4.5. God of War Ragnarok is a spellbinding tour of nine realms that doesn't quite manage to justify the analysis. Oh, wow. <laughs> interesting. Um, it, um, Eric Schwader. Well, that's really most of the um, reviews so far as I've seen. But yeah, man. Come to find out, God of War Ragnarok will definitely will go down to one of the best games of the year. Looks like um, Elden Ring got competition by the looks of it. Yeah, you know, by the looks of it, yes. But even though I am still currently playing Elden Ring, it's a fantastic game. But it looks like um, Elden got some heavy competition with God of War. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's, all, that's great to see him, man. So, yes, I'm definitely going to gonna play this masterpiece. And I hope it is a masterpiece, y'all, which I know it is. So. There you go. That was my review roundup. Check out of God of Rotten Rock right there. So, my eyes are correct. So there you have a hot squad. That was my review roundup of God of War Rotten Rock. Yes. Um, it's safe to say this game is going to go down to one of the game, best games of the year, obviously. Lord, have mercy. And it's definitely, see, expectations is definitely worth the hype. So I'm definitely excited to play this next week. So we must stay focused, brothers. There you have it. So um maybe more reviews will come up probably um tomorrow or um next week or so when the game really releases in day one. So yes, I'm definitely definitely gonna be excited for it. So yes, Hot Squad. That is it for my Hawkler News of our review roundup, Gava Rat and Rock. Now next I have my Avatar The Way of Water official trailer to react to earlier that came out this week. Um the trailer did. So yes, Hot Squad, if you enjoyed more of the news coverage of this, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. Are you very excited for this game? Are you not surprised this game is a masterpiece? It's getting stellar scores. Not really surprised because, you know, obviously, it's a it's a freaking follow-up to the last God of War, okay? Bar none. So yes, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for my Avatar The Way of Water reaction in a few moments, and watch out now. <laughs>